Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I am giving the full fence guide, being the one task that he has for uh, the collector, which gives you the capital container. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So quickly, I'll touch on what the Cabot container is and why it is important to get or why you should be targeting to get it. The Cabot container is a 3x4 secure container that is the largest container in the game for Tarkov. So at the moment, uh, it's the prize possession for all Tarkov players. Now, to be able to unlock the collector quest, you need to complete every quest in the game except for Charisma Bring Success, Hi Hippocratic Vow, Hunting Trip, Import, Loyalty Buyout, Peacekeeping Mission, Regulated Materials, The Stylish One, Textile Part 1 and 2, and Trust Regain. So you don't have to do any of those tasks, and that may change, but at the point of making this video, you're not required to do those ones. So what is the Collector Quest? For this quest, you are required to find every single streamer item in the game, and then hand them in found in Raid. So you need to start collecting these on early, otherwise it will take a very long time to find them all if you get to this quest and then start collecting them. Some are much harder to find than others, but the first thing I want to start this off by is you should always be searching duffel bags and hidden stashes for items that might be a streamer item to be able to hand in. Now, a large amount of these items are found in there, and unless that's the only way to find them, for now, I'm going to say check those ones in those locations, and I'm not going to list them off for each individual one. But I'm going to note all specific locations that you can find these. So starting off with the old fire still. In Shoreline, you can find this in the West Wing 301 room, also on the desk next to the safe in the weather station. The most likely location you're gonna find this one is in labs in the cage robot arms area. This one is where I usually find it and uh, it's located in the main middle area of labs where there's a robotic arm and you'll find some other streamer items there as well. Also on reserve in the RBAM room in the shelves at the back of the room, also RBGN on the floor. So if you wanna get it on reserve, that's the next best spot. Next up, we have the Antique Axe. Now, I've been able to find this very consistently on Scavs and Raiders, and you shouldn't have too much difficulty finding it, but if you are, just go kill Raiders on any map, and you'll get it pretty quickly. Next, we have the Battered Antique Book. The easiest way to find this one, guys, is in safes. You should find it within about 10 to 15 safes, and uh, just, yeah, that's it. It's straightforward, very easy to find. In the past, there were so many locations you would have to search, but then once they put it on the safe loot table, it's been a lot better since. The Fire Clean Gun Lube. Now this one, the best location to find it is in the robotic arm on labs, just like the old Fire Steel. Um, go into there, it spawns there with a couple other items and should be checking this because Fuel Conditioner also spawns there and putting them in your container makes easy money. The Golden Rooster or the Golden Cock. This one is most easily found in the management office on labs. You can also find this one in the red key card room on labs if you've got the money to go in there. And it also does spawn in safes quite consistently. So I'd definitely be checking safes anyway. Um, every time you go past the safe, always worth looting and you can find it in there. Silver badge, this one as well is found in safes as well as the management office has a pretty good spawn chance for it as well on labs. Deadly Slob's beard oil uh, is most likely found on interchange. There's two spots that I would highly suggest checking out. The first one would be the metal shelves in the power station, as well as the countertops in the Ollie offices. Now, if when you're in Ollie or you're facing the front of Ollie, look towards the right and there's the uh, the back office area. Go through all those back office areas, check the shelves in there, as well as further back into the far corner. I've actually found one behind there too. There is one other spot that you can find this is if from the front of Ollie, facing outside the store, directly in front of it, there is a furniture shop. If you go into that furniture shop on the shelves in the uh, cupboards there, you can actually find it there as well. Next, we have Summit's 1G Golden Phone. For this one, you're most likely gonna find it in the tech stores like Rasmussen and Techlight. Also, there is a phone store down the opposite corner of Techlight on the interchange on the second floor. Go down the far other end, you'll find the phone store and it can spawn in there as well. There is one final spot you can find. This is the power station as well, but you shouldn't really have too much issues getting this in the tech stores, but the power station does have a spawn for it as well. Devadog's Mayo, the most likely chance you're going to find this one is in Shoreline in the West Wing Room 216. As you enter the room, there's a, a desk right in front of you, and on that desk, it spawns quite often. So uh, you can definitely get it here. Otherwise, Duffel Bags is really a pretty good spot to find this, or any of those underground bunker crates for the rations in reserve. Now, Sprats, this one pretty much spawns anywhere food spawns. It's fairly common, so you shouldn't have too many issues finding it. 
But uh, the West Wing 216 room is good for it. Otherwise, any of those underground bunkers with the food rations or any of the duffel bags, any of the food spawns, this one comes up quite often. So you shouldn't have too much of an issue finding the can of sprouts. Next, we have Sequisha's fake mustache. For this one, the best place to find it is on Raiders. And if you go into labs or reserve and kill Raiders consistently, then you should be able to find it, no worries whatsoever. It does spawn on scavs, however. So if you are having issue killing Raiders, then factory farming is an option. Cotton's beanie, you can easily find this one on scavs and Raiders as well. Exactly the same as Sequisha's mustache. Go into uh, reserve or labs, kill the Raiders in there. Otherwise, hit up factory for scab farming. Dr. Lupo's coffee beans. This one has been a lot of issues for a lot of people, but they apparently have boosted the spawn chance. The fixed spawns that you can find it is inside the Western house, the chairman's house on the swamp, which is that greenhouse overlooking the swamp in shoreline. You can find it in there. Otherwise, on the wooden shelves in factory, the next best option you have is farming every single hidden stash you know or duffel bag and uh, it can be quite annoying but you can get it there alternatively whilst you're farming some of the other items that you're about to hear about check all the scav backpacks you might get lucky in there as well pestilis plague mask now this one has drove people absolutely bonkers trying to get uh, personally i found this one on a nighttime factory run there's rumor that it spawns a higher chance at the night time but i don't believe so but my suggestion would be just farming scavs Personally, I like to farm factory for scavs, but it's up to you how you want to handle this one. Raven figurine. This is Markstrom streamer item, and the best way to find this one is in safes. It shouldn't take you very long at all to get it. If you're having issues with safes, the management offers on labs should be able to get in there pretty quickly. Last but not least, Shroud's Shroud. Uh, this one is found on scavs, just like my Pestily Plague Mask. Uh, you need to farm scabs to be able to get it. I found it in about an hour and a half of farming scabs on factory. Some people, it took a lot longer, but whilst you're farming one, you can farm the other. There is one location I didn't mention throughout this whole video because you can find any single item in the game there, and it's the old gas station on customs. I believe this is going to change when they do the customs expansion that the giving tree will go. Um, so I'm not going to really overly emphasize that. But the tree behind old gas station has an opportunity to spawn any item in the game. And you can find any of these streamer items as well as uh, inside the gas station has a spawn for it as well. So guys, that is it for this video. I know it's a very difficult task and frustrating for a lot of people. But hopefully some of these uh, spots will be able to give you a bit of tips and able to find them faster. Some of these are an actual grind. There are, it's not meant to be an easy task to complete. And if they add more streamer items in the future, I believe they'll get added to the task, making it even harder. So buckle in, start saving these items as soon as you see them and as early as you can. Because when you do get to this task, it's going to be very frustrating for you if you're still waiting to find like half a dozen items. Particularly if you find Shroud's Mask, or my uh, Plague Mask as well, because they are very frustrating for a lot of people, and Dr. Lupo's beamed. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching another video. If you liked it, smash the shit out of the like button. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe for future content. I am trying to pump out all these guides as quickly as possible. After this one's out, I'm going to be working on the new player map guides again, talking about all the locations, spawns, extracts, and all the good stuff in that. So be checking out the new player playlist, the, the task guide playlist, if you're after any other guides than that. And lastly... I'll see you next time.